Hello, so today we will study how to develop uh, one's level of consciousness, how to grow in the evolution of consciousness, since uh, when you study the spiritual path, you discover, discover that one of the aspects of life and of fulfillment and of the meaning of life is increasing one's levels of consciousness. So we will see 13 axes of how to develop one's uh, level of consciousness and uh, in the same way we will uh, define what increasing one's level of consciousness is. So first axis obviously is becoming more conscious, more aware, developing self-awareness, developing attention to what one does, what one feels, what one thinks being more mindful of one's gestures, being more mindful of one's words, being more mindful of one's uh, thoughts, feelings and emotions. Second aspect is the aspect uh, or the axis of relation to time. The more aware you become, the more you see um, past, present and future in, um, in the present moment. That means that um, what was yesterday, what is now, and what will be in the long term are uh, equally present to the mind's eyes. It means that um, contrary to the children, you are not um, unaware of what has passed or of what will happen. But you always compare the present with the past through memory and with the future through anticipation and axis three is the axis of belief so the more uh, conscious you are the less uh, rigid beliefs you have you have the less rigid opinions you hold uh, the less you think that you know uh, the less you are a prisoner of your mind and of your concepts and the more you adopt uh, practical uh, uh, beliefs, working beliefs, uh, beliefs that you choose uh, in order to move forward in life and the more you become aware that the mind is only an instrument uh, to um, approach reality and uh, you don't see reality uh, through the filter of your mind but you try to uh, see through it. So this is the third axis. Fourth uh, axis is the axis of uh, uh, depth. So you try to develop depth, try to develop analysis, try to um, develop an understanding of the world, try to think by yourself, try to um, dive into subjects and understand um, in depth uh, the in and outs of the, of the subject. Try to be an original, an original thinker. Try to understand the nature of things. So this is axis uh, four. Axis five is developing a sense of the invisible, a sense of the mystery of life, a sense that there is a, something beyond the sensory world, the physical world, the material world, that there is a hidden depth in things, there is a hidden dimension. Axis 6 is the axis of attachment. You try to reduce attachment, try to reduce desire, try to reduce anxiousness uh, for things to come, try to reduce stress or impulsivity, try to detach yourself from the impermanent things, uh, from things which uh, come and go. Axis 7 is the axis of spirituality. Try to value the mind, the spirit. Try to value consciousness. Try to be more absorbed in yourself and in your mind and in the inner world. Try to discover the inner peace which is inside of you. Try to meditate more. Try to do more spiritual exercises. Um, axis 8 is self-analysis, 
Why do you do the things you do? Know the whys of your actions. Know the whys of your behavior, words and thoughts. Why did I say this? Why did I think this? Why did I act like this? What do I want? Why do I want this? Does this come from me or does this come from my group, my culture, from society? Axis uh, 9 is responsibility. Knowing the consequences of what one does. Knowing the consequences in terms of good and bad for oneself and for others. Will it lead to the welfare of myself or of others in the long run? Axis 10 is humility. Not feeling special, not feeling above others. I am not special. I am like all the others. I have needs for survival. I have uh, needs for affection. I have needs for uh, acknowledgement. And I want to be happy like other creatures and especially other human beings. Axis 11 is the axis of the neutral point of view. Try to develop a more a neutral point of view, a more balanced point of view, not being caught in your values, in your beliefs, in your subjectivity. Try to see things from a third person point of view where you and others are um, seen uh, in the eye of the neutral uh, spectator or witness. Axis uh, 12 is um, being spontaneous. Uh, being original, um, being creative, uh, not acting purely by habit, not act acting mechanically, but uh, trying to start anew, to make a, a fresh start uh, at every action, not being imprisoned by um, automatism already developed. And axis 13 is the axis of Autonomy. Be autonomous. Resist impulsivity. Don't be reactive or irritable. Uh, try to act by starting your actions and not by reacting. Try to use the will and not use a desire. Try to be um, an active person, not being, um, uh, not having your behavior detected by external uh, events and circumstances. So to sum up the 13 axes, axis one, axis of self-awareness, two, axis of seeing everything uh, in the present, axis three, the axis of um, not uh, being imprisoned by the mind, axis four, depth and uh, critical thinking, axis five, seeing the mystery uh, of life. Axis uh, 6, uh, becoming released from desire. Axis 7, developing spirituality and meditation. Axis 8, self-analysis. Axis 9, taking responsibility. Axis 10, uh, being humble. Axis 11, developing a neutral point of view. Uh, axis 12, um, uh, being uh, spontaneous and creative. Axis 13, being autonomous and resisting impulsivity. So let me know what you think.